Pro Football Writers of America and Pro Football Weekly have released their annual NFL awards. We're talking Executive of the Year. And Eric, a lot of choices this year. A lot of guys did really great jobs. But ultimately, the turnaround of the San Francisco 49ers got the award for Trent Baalke. Yeah, he's done a tremendous job. And I think his home run move this offseason clearly was bringing in Jim Harbaugh as a head coach. There's long been this uh, prejudice against college coaches based on, you know, guys like Butch Davis unable to make the move up from college. Pete Carroll kind of a mixed bag so far. We'll see if he can do that. You know, Dennis Erickson, people like that. And yet, I think Balky saw beyond all that. And he saw a school manager, a guy who ran that Stanford program from top to bottom in his image, brought in tough people, smart coaches, surrounded himself with a ton of talent. And guess what? He's done the same thing with the 49ers. Former NFL assistant, former NFL player. He saw the guy he wanted, he went after him, and he got him. And that's been a huge home run for the 49ers. Yeah, obviously, Harbaugh was a big part of that. But also, you know, kind of quietly, a lot of the moves the Niners made last year ended up playing a big role this season. Alden Smith, Rookie of the Year. You know, the last two drafts have been bonanzas. Two starting offensive linemen. Kennel Hunter, a great replacement running back for Frank Gore. They re-signed him in the offseason. You know, and then under, under the radar, guys like Carlos Rodgers had a lot of talent, never quite fulfilled it in Washington. Guess what? He's a pro bowler. The safety have been good. I mean, all these pieces they've moved, they've all come up bases for the 49ers. Yeah, not, not a lot of people expected this kind of season from the 49ers. Balky deserves a lot of the credit. But as you look down at some of the other guys that were candidates this year, it's hard to imagine because he received so much criticism, but Mike Brown did a great job. Uh, Mike Brown, one of the two owners in the NFL, along with Jerry Jones, who also doubles the GM. But, you know, you, you hear league-wide people criticizing Brown for all the moves he's made for years, doesn't have enough of a scouting staff, doesn't know personnel all that well, micromanages, things like that. Well, guess what? He's had a terrific 12 months. The Marvin Lewis situation last year, you know, sitting back and waiting for Carson Palmer, knowing that there'd be a team desperate to trade for him, it worked out perfectly. They get multiple draft picks from the Raiders. And then, frankly, you know, addition by subtraction. Uh, Ocho Cinco gone, Terrell Owens gone. They got rid of a lot of those bad character players, brought in guys like Andy Dalton, A.J. Green. Obviously, that turnaround, a lot of it can be attributed to those yes. moves they made last offseason. While Mike Brown didn't get, Trent Baalke did. Quite an honor for him. For all of the awards, you can check them out at ProFootballWeekly.com. It's never too early to start thinking about the NFL Draft, and Pro Football Weekly's new draft database has you covered. Check out updated player rankings for over 750 prospects and our exclusive PFW Stockwatch. Just go to the Draft tab at ProFootballWeekly.com.